So what is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and our base is complete. It looks like we need three of those uh, of those chestnuts to give to the Mankey um, in order to have them finish. And man, this looks legit actually. <laughs> finally. This day has finally arrived. It's finally ready. Our Cybernetics Rescue Team base. Ooh, so cool. No matter how you look at it, our rescue team base is just way too cool. It's resemblance to you is a nice touch, Blades. We all worked very hard. It was very hard, but it was worth it. Waba fat. <laughs> Everyone, thank you. Say there, there's something I want to ask. If this rescue team base is finished, does that mean maybe you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? <laughs> of course, we're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang, sincerely, thank you for everything. Ooh. Ooh. They're about to destroy it. Wh what? Y'all just gonna break it? Wh what are you doing? Stop that. As a result of everyone's desperate efforts to stop the Mankey Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Gang, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more pill chestnuts, they returned to their forest. And that is how the chaotic renovation of our rescue team base came to an end. The next morning. I mean, okay. Good morning. <sighs> Sorry guys, how do you on? <laughs> it's the next day and our rescue team base is still looking super cool. Seeing it all shiny and new makes me feel like it's a fresh start for us. Let's keep doing our best with our rescue work. Alrighty, and wow, we even have like plants, but inside looks the same, right? Uh, yeah, it looks basically the same. Uh, it's actually, I didn't even know you could interact with that map. <laughs> That's the first time I actually touched that map since, since like playing the game. I did like two or three days of exploration after we built the house and now we got the cutscene. So, oh wow, another earthquake. Hopefully it doesn't just like die down right there. <laughs> I guess it's settled down. There have been a lot of earthquakes lately. I know Renee is going to be freaking out or something. Like, whoa, boys, did you feel that earthquake? Like, nah, you, duh. <laughs> oh, hi, you're up early. Did you notice the earthquake earlier? It's hard to get decent sleep when there's so many earthquakes. Hey. Oh, Lombre, what's the matter? We need you at the square. Everyone's gathering there. Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure. Shifty's calling everyone out. He's getting the other rescue teams to come. Blades, let's go. <laughs> Wow, look at all the Pokemon. Looks like they sent out a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from faraway places. That Shiftry, I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Oh, look at that, a Blastoise, a Rhydon, Golem. Can I get everyone's attention here? I, uh, it's not my style to get up front and everyone like this, and sorry, this isn't the time for that. There's big trouble. Alakazam's team went underground, but they haven't returned. W what? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately, Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon, and that's it. We haven't heard anything from them. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. No idea? How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. But they haven't come back? That's for real. That's right, and it sounds as if Groudon is out of our league. What? Is, the, is that tough? This Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's magma flowing everywhere underground. I'd burn up if I went anywhere like that. Quiet, please. Be quiet. There's no denying that it is a dangerous underground. It's not a place where just anyone could go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? Say, Blade, this is a great opportunity. Let's go. <laughs> Don't bother you guys. W what's with you? Do you think we're not strong enough? You guys have gotten a lot tougher, that's for sure, but there's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there. Will no one step forward? I'll go. Whoa, it's Blastoise. 
You mean Team Hydra's Roughneck Blast Dolls? Those water spouts on his back can rocket water so fast that it punches through the thick iron plates. <laughs> it's rumored Groudon is a ground type. I am a water type, strong against the ground type. My hydro pump will put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Woohoo, it's Octillery. She's Constrictor's leader. She's known for persistent and clingy attacks. She ensnares foes with her tentacles, then headbutts them. She'd be nasty to face in any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. Say, how about not forgetting about me? Whoa, Golem. He's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. His body is rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. If Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me fine. I'll use my rock throw to keep it buried underground. Oh, Blastoise, Octillery, and Golem? No one can complain about this selection. We'll have these three rescuers head underground. Yeah, good choice. You're representing us. Make us proud. Let's go. Win it for us. Save Alakazam's team. See? They look pretty tough, eh? Let them handle things. It can't be helped, Blades. I wish we could have gone too, but that can't be helped. Blastoise team can take care of things underground, and we'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work. Oh, uh, really? That's... Oh, man. That just means there's more dungeons for me to be cutting out? Oh, flump. <laughs> well... Turns out I can't even teach my cube on Shadow Claw, by the way, guys. <laughs> I ended up buying it and not even being able to use it. Can... Alright, guys, we are here with another earthquake after completing a day of uh, jobs and rescues and all that stuff. So, there's been so many quakes lately. I wonder when that'll settle down. Blades, there's commotion down at the square. A lot of Pokemon have already gathered there. Let's go to the square right now. I mean, okay, Renee. Oh, Lombre, what's going on here? Hey, Renee. Well, you should just go see for yourself. Ooh, they got their butt whooped. <laughs> Look, it's Blastoise and the others. Shiftry, what happened here? They were wiped out in the underground dungeon. Y you're kidding. Ugh, that place, it's rough. Seriously. We couldn't get far enough to even see Groudon. I don't want to ever go back to that place that bad. Underground? It's far worse than we had imagined. <laughs> what fools? That's what you get for trying the impossible. G Gengar, how dare you? What are you saying? We have to try. This is about saving Alakazam's team. <laughs> you really think finding? You really find thinking hard, don't you? I don't even know what that meant. I probably meant it wrong again. Even they look smart compared to you. It's too much, even Blastoise went down. It's gotta be awful tough. Who'd want to go into a dungeon that dangerous? There's no way I can't go. I burn too easily. I can't take earthquakes. It'd be like going and knowing full well we'd get wiped out. Uh, everyone. You see, even they finally seem to understand their situation. <laughs> I, my leafy fans would burn up. Even Shiftry? <laughs> Get over it. Don't expect to be rewarded just because you're tried. Sometimes it's better to wise up than give up. Huh? Did I say something profound? <laughs> Blades, I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's the impossible, should we still try to rescue Alakazam? Uh, heck yeah, because we're ready to get this show on the road. I think so too. Okay, Blades. Everyone, listen. We're going to rescue Alakazam's team. What? What? What did they say? Huh? <laughs> Who are they? Can't say I know them. It's Team Cybernetic. They're well known around these parts. Team Cybernetic? You mean the lot that were suspected of the involvement in the Ninetales legend? I heard about that. Weren't they living like fugitives until recently? Can they handle it? They don't look very tough. Yes, the rescue might be too much of a challenge for us, but... Even so, we're still a rescue team to help Pokemon suffering from the natural disasters. That's why we started up our rescue team. 
That's why I want to rescue Alakazam's team, even if it's risky. Never giving up. That's where Team Cybernetic stakes its pride. Hmm. <laughs> you really aren't very bright, are you? Why don't you look like everyone else and wise up? No, Renee is right. Ooh? <laughs> That's right, I wasn't thinking straight, out of fear. Uh, uh, we all forgot the most important thing. We are rescue teams. Pride. We have it too. Pride as rescuers. Uh, have you lost your senses? Why would you listen to that clown and worse, be persuaded? Why go if you're facing certain defeat? Why? Is that so? Ugh. We've only failed once. Blastoise. <laughs> this is no time to be lying around. Uh, yes, no more wallowing in woe is me self pity. <laughs> if we give up, that's how it ends, not for me. Octillery and Gollum, too. Uh, you lot, that wasn't the top tune you were whistling just a little. Hey, that's right. They've got to be ways we can get through. If we all pull together, we'll be sure to find a way. We'll conquer the dungeon by having all the rest of the teams cooperate. Squad. Squad. Are, are you dreaming? Don't say I didn't warn you when you get into a world of pain. Ugh. Thank you, Renee. You stopped us from throwing away the most important thing we have. Pride. Many thanks from all of us. Everyone, it's time to get to work. Let's show them what we rescue teams are really about. We were held up by that trouble, but now we're getting the chance to go to the underground dungeon. We're not leaving until tomorrow, but I'm jumping with anticipation. Let's spend today getting ready for the dungeon. Let me know when you're all ready to go. Anything? No? All right, let's see what all... Renee's words shook me with inspiration. Especially that part about pride. That made me, it left me choked up. It isn't just you, my brother. I am likewise inspired beyond words. But brother, <laughs> my brother, I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines, all with the pride of a merchant. I just want to see what we can buy here. Wow, we got Shadow Ball. Oh, nobody can learn frost bath. Oh yeah, I got a pupitar. <laughs> but okay, uh, let's. If we're like actually gonna be leaving, I guess that means we should make sure we're really prepared. So let's organize. Yep, I think we're all set. I'm in that dream again. Gardevoir, it's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon? Yes. They make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. You will be fine. I am certain that you'll succeed, Blades. You have my support. Please go with strength. I will, thank you. I'm feeling a little braver now. I will go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what it's like underground? Or what ground down is like? No, I'm sorry to say, I can't envision it. Okay. I thought maybe you knew something the way you said it. No, I only wanted to give you encouragement. I'm sorry. No, no, that's, that's fine too. I'm happy you tried to cheer me up, thank you. There was one thing that I can foresee. Mm, uh-huh. Your role is coming to its end little by little. My role is ending. You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role, and that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to its conclusion. Gardevoir, tell me, what is my role? Please, why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. Au revoir. The next morning. Uh, 
Quite a trippy dream. Good morning, Blaze. Did you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best to save Alakazam's team. Gardevoir said she will tell me everything when this adventure is over. Is going on the ground that adventure she meant? Will she tell me if we rescue teams Al Alakazam? Hello? Are you asleep still? Let's get going. Uh, my fault. My fault, fam. Magma Cavern. Yeah, I was like, can I still go with uh, my boy Neo? I ended up nicknaming Growlithe to Neo because shout out to the Nuzlocke I'm doing uh, for our forgotten partner. <laughs> this must be it. Groudon is in this underground cavern. Whew. Look at the streams of lava. It's going to be scorching hot in the dungeon, I think. Other rescue teams should already be here. Let's get going and try our best. I probably shouldn't have brought Neo now that I think about it, because ground type moves from Groudon. Maybe like a fire something? Or flying something. That that probably would have. That probably would have been a good idea. Okay, Raticates. Can we still recruit people or Pokemon while we're in here? That's that's one question I have. That might actually be pretty pretty clutch for us. Yeah, I don't need him using like an earthquake or something. This boomerang's coming in clutch, and I love that I raised the accuracy and power on it from uh, a bunch of the mission rewards that I had. There was stuff you could take that just increased your that increased your Pokemon's accuracy, um, accuracy and power, and that's what I did. Oh, as well as like the the power points that come from for the moves, like you can increase that number as well. But there's, of course, like a limit on what you can put everything out. So that's why you see Boomerang doesn't really miss, even though it usually has like a piss poor accuracy. And that's why I'm sticking with it too, because also it goes up to 10 tiles. You know how many Pokemon you can take out in the line? Ooh. Okay, I, I see you, Renee. Out here trying to kill these people from miles away. Look at that, and and I and I taught Renee a uh, hydro pump too, which is also uh, can also reach ten times. Oh, we can recruit. I don't. Oh, I have something for Sandra's. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Dang, all that focus energy for nothing. What I don't get is how Blastoise and them didn't succeed in here. You had two water Pokemon, you know? And all I'm seeing are ground Pokemon for now. And I'm out here kicking butt. Ah, oh, Cloyster. Oh, wow, I got poison from that. give you an apple and if you join us that's even better ah oh, see I can't even like re recruit you to the fullest I was gonna say like I forgot how to 
how to get rid of poison, but it looks like if you just go to like the next floor, you're good. Dang, doubled his speed, but then got frozen by the blizzard. Look at you, Renee, going through all your blizzards like that. It's actually really convenient, though, having having Blizzard like that, so we can just take out, like, Pokemon all quick, like, across the room. Because, uh, bump well, getting hurt just for, for eating. I guess now I can see because of, like, the poison types. I don't even know how many floors this place has. But I guess it works out pretty well that um, that we recruited the cloister at least to come along with us I didn't even like look at its moves but hopefully it has something something useful for the Groudon fight I like how we just have that one Pokemon like following us this whole time. <laughs> now I'm now kind of wondering what that item was that was dropped over there. A Relicath? Even though it dropped to zero, we were able to use it again. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we, we know. Nowhere for you to stay, sadly. And we actually need that boomerang in our life. Or bone meringue. I really hate like when I use it towards like these higher floors just because I'm I'm wondering if if I'm just wasting my my ethers like that. So I can't remember if it like brings it back up like once there's like a cutscene and all that stuff. A oh, Lunatone, wow. I think Lunatone has Levitate. You have Spike Cannon. Ah, oh, that makes sense now why they say Cloister's a really good uh, partner to have because of those multiple hit moves. I need more money because the leftover places to buy now, they all cost like 6,000 plus. All that for a mawile. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, snap, I can hit my team. I feel bad now because I did a lot of damage to them. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's like the last one I can recruit. Okay, Neo, I see you. Out here trying to keep up. care about jump bluff like that. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, bump that. We don't, we don't need you. Very steel tight. to see like what is there to even really eat out here guess I'll eat an orange berry just to fill my stomach up oh my gosh I guess we'll I guess we'll give you an apple just to get out of our hair I'm so tired of them having all these Pokemon just out here fainting on us, like... Y'all, just stay home. I think that's, that's all you really have to do, is just stay home. Yeah, now I'm just like, oh, uh, we're gonna... fight why y'all out here with like such a vengeance with this <laughs> with this my cargo yes I yes I want to proceed <laughs> Kind of crap. Are you sure you wanna you wanna leave them like that? I'm like uh, yeah. <laughs> Are y'all really not? Oh, okay. I was like y'all really about to just let Cloister just just out here and faint on us?
something the game's not telling me because I don't get how Renee's Blizzard can constantly like drop down to zero and then magically come back. I'm like looking like, dang, how far did we throw that thing? <laughs> See, it, it, it did it again where it's like, oh, it dropped below, but magically we did, we still were able to get the move off. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand it, but I guess it's not meant for me to really understand like that. Maybe it has something to do with like the friendship or something. You know, they they like doing everything about the power of friendship with animes and video games, especially Pokemon now. It's all about friendship. That was a perfect time to eat an orange berry. Guys, like not helping fight like what's what's the what's the dealio out here that's there we go that's all that's all i wanted to know was what was what was going on out here dang floor 20 Cause uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see like what, when we gonna be done. We've been in this dungeon for a good minute, actually. Snap a golem. Yeah, we'll take you over, uh, over Relic Camp. I think. Yeah. Yes, I, I really want to say goodbye. Look at that, we got Hyper Beam, so if I ever want to teach someone Hyper Beam, there, there's the move. Is this it finally? No. Oh, 
Heck no. Oh. Uh. Oh man, this is this is when earthquake comes in clutch. Oh snap, you can take out the other people in the room with that? Oh, now you want to join us? Nah, bro. Out my face. <laughs> that was a good amount of EXP we got in there, though, I think. That was crazy though. I was not expecting uh, to have to deal with that. Oh! Woo. I was. I thought. I thought the lava like was like an insta kill or something. Probably should try to get back to my team, but I feel like they should. They should be able to handle like all these fights. I'm like, that's, that's just the L we gonna take with losing Sandshrew like that. Wow, we're only halfway? Dang, that's crazy. But guys, I'm in this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed, because this video's probably gonna be like 30-ish minutes, if not a little bit more. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to my channel. Helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.